Okay, so are you a worship leader and you don't know what to say at the beginning of service and even in between the songs and coming out of songs? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you three things that you can say in between songs and at the beginning, just because, you know, there's, there's always that awkward beginning that you need to figure out how to not make it awkward. So let's jump into the video. Well, hey guys, Evan DiDio here. Today I'm going to be helping you not feel so awkward when you're on stage trying to figure out what to say before worship and even during worship in between those worship songs. I know you've got a, an awesome set list. You can even rock out the songs like you're a great band, but for some reason in between the songs, you don't know what to say. Like it just, it just disappears out of your head. You had something planned, like you knew what you were going to say. But then it just disappeared. How can we fix that? Well, to start off, my first tip, my first thing that I recommend you say is ask them a question. In the beginning or you know during worship, whenever, ask them a question. A simple one is, how are you doing this morning or this, this afternoon or this evening, whenever you're doing it? And here's the key. Actually have them respond. Like don't just let them say good. You know, have, make them put a smile on their face, smile at them and say, oh no, come on, how are you doing this morning? And actually get a response out of them. That is a baby step towards deeper worship. Because how many of you know you're not going to get everyone uh, on an early Sunday morning? They're not all just automatically going to be jumping and praising God, maybe even running. I don't know. They're, it's not autom unless they come in ready. But, you know, after a long week of hard work, they're about to go back to work in the next morning. They're not going to be ready to do that. I mean, they just woke up. So how can you get them to a point where they can worship without, you know, feeling awkward about it? baby steps. So that first step is answering a question. That is a simple step that you get them to actually do something and it makes them more feel more free to do the next thing that might be another step up. So we ask them a question. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Oh no, come on. How are you doing this morning? Actually get them to respond. And here's the key. I've seen so many worship leaders just talk like they just, even in the middle of a song, maybe when they're doing an exhortation, which we'll be talking about here in a minute, when they're doing an exhortation, you know, how many of you know that Jesus is alive? And the, for the first 10 or 15 seconds, it's powerful. And then they keep talking. And it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So don't just keep rambling on. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Keep it simple. So that way it's easy for you to remember. You can do it well. It's not just one long, long strand of whatever that you, where you lose people halfway in. It's maybe two sentences. I mean, come on. You listen to a lot of um, worship leaders today that, like uh, a good friend of mine, Chris Burns, um, who I've gotten to play with a couple times, he will keep it like really short and he'll turn it into a song. I mean, seriously. He will take one phrase. Jesus is alive, for example. But Jesus is alive. Well, he's actually recorded a song called Jesus is Alive. And he, Jesus is alive. He's living through me. He's loving through me. Jesus is alive. He's living through me. He's loving through me. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. That's basically an exhortation. So keep it short. Keep it simple. I guess that could be an extra little tip in between there. But tip number one is ask a question. Okay. Number two, memorize Bible verses so you're always ready. So here's an example. Let me grab good old KJV 1611. I like this. I like the KJV. I've been reading it all my life, but I like it because of its kind of poetic nature. I know a lot of people consider it hard to understand, and I, I completely understand that. Uh, once you get... Once you kind of understand the these and the thous, though, it's it's great. I, that's why I really like the KJV. But this is in Psalm 27, and this is just verse number four. And, of course, the Psalms are a great place to find things. But you can find things all over the Bible. Trust me, you can look uh, <laughs> if you want to get even deeper, like, you know, Jude or M Malachi. Oh, you can find some good stuff in Malachi. Anyway, I'll let you figure that out yourself. So Psalm 27, verse four says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. All I want is to be in the house of the Lord. How many of you are excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Come on, everybody stand up with me this morning. Clap your hands like this. So what you're doing is you're taking them along those baby steps and they're they're getting excited with you. They're, they're becoming more and more a part of the service. So giving them a Bible verse, telling them, here's tip number three, telling them what the song maybe is about, maybe if you want to, or why they should worship him in this song. What is a key line or phrase in this song that is 
that's that's what everybody's going to worship with. You kind of use that. Maybe it's the chorus. Maybe it's the bridge. Maybe it's the verse. I don't know, but kind of talk about the next song uh, and give them the reason why they should worship God. Because it's not hard to find one. I mean, angels do it all the time for eternity. They've been doing it. They've been flying around the throne of God, seeing new things about him all the time. So we can always find something in the word, and that's a good way to do that. Um, give them a good reason to worship God. And I'm feeling I'm feeling extra generous today. I want to give you a bonus tip here in just a second. But first, please like this video and share it with your worship team. Um, everyone that's going to be exhorting or talking, this is great to help them out. I've been doing it for several years now, um, and I've made so many, so many mistakes. I've talked too much. I have not talked enough. I have not looked people in the eyes. There's an extra little tip. I haven't moved. I just, you know, standing like standing like that you know i've done so many things i've done it all and i don't want you to make the same mistakes i'm here to help on this channel i bring more media tips and tools praise and worship team tips and tools for churches so if you need some help like that subscribe to this youtube channel so that way you can get even more tips song tutorials for guitar interviews with fantastic worship leaders like chris burns be sure to subscribe to the channel and here comes an extra little bonus tip so find a bible verse that says praise ye the lord there are so many in the Bible. There, I mean, so many. Praise ye the Lord. David often commanded the people of Israel to praise the Lord. And there's the key word. It's a command. It's not a suggestion. It's a command. And you can even tell the congregation that. Come on, the Bible says, praise ye the Lord. That's not a suggestion. That's a command. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah or something. And get them along those baby steps. And I think that'll really help. Take your worship services to the next level because you're getting past that awkward stage where you're just trying to go between songs everything is just one worship time not several different worship songs it's just one big time of worship all right i hope that this video helped you be sure to like it comment below if you have any questions seriously if you have questions put them in the comment section below i want to help you out in many ways in as many ways as i can i try to answer every single comment and so far i have and if i haven't let me know but be sure to comment below if you have any questions. I'm here for you. Visit evandedio.com also for my blog. I, I post every like once a month maybe. Just uh, some helpful tips for worship leaders and media teams. But I hope that this channel helps you. I think that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.